Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB and today we're going to talk about balance. Balance. But first, let me say this. I just wanted to thank everybody who ordered Parasite Cleanse and I wanted to thank everybody who got a reading from me. I um, am very very grateful very 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 grateful and I enjoyed every last one of those readings I really did so um, if anybody is interested I've said it before um, just inbox me if you want a reading or if you want someone to chat with or need some advice let me know Uh, it's an energy exchange I'm not in need of the funds I'm really you know grateful that the creator universe has provided for me but I will accept um, energy exchange because that's exactly what it is it's my energy for a currency exchange same same and um, there's a lot of things that goes into giving a reading and um, I've been doing readings for years for free and it was very draining So I have to start doing an energy exchange. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So listen, I am allowed to say, if anybody likes the video, please give it a thumbs up. And that is not coming from a place of ego. But where it's coming from is a place where if I have spare time or if I if I feel up to it, I could give a video that maybe some people will be interested in. And I don't know if you guys are interested in these videos or not, if you are not liking them. I don't know what topics you want me to talk more about. If I see something that I was like, oh, well, maybe they're interested in this topic, this particular topic. Maybe I'll go more on this particular topic when I have an opportunity. But this is still about the seven dimensions of wellness. It's um, evolution. I'm trying to, no, I'm not trying to. I'm getting myself. I am in a place right now and I'm trying to stay in that place so if you are trying to stay in a certain reality whether you understand me or not or you're trying to make your life better it's the same but if you understand realities then you know that we're changing realities and this is what this channel is about by using the seven dimensions of wellness is soul evolution my soul is not going to reincarnate again anybody who is listening and that can understand me and implement some of the things that I've implemented into my life, into your life, you won't reincarnate either and you'll be on a different reality, heaven on earth. Anyway, so let's get back to what I originally wanted to talk about. So balance and I, boy, my life has gotten better. Everything has flipped, right? So the things that I was talking about and I wasn't complaining about it I was just sharing because I don't like the thought of complaining you know what I'm saying but I was just venting I I just needed to release and everything that I spoke about in that other video has changed everything has changed and I am so so grateful but who's to say next month won't be different and next month could probably be different and I you know I'm not looking forward to having any more chaos I'm trying to keep myself it in a balanced place and when you get out of balance things like that happen you get out of balance you don't use your intuition there's so many things happen but if you want to try to maintain heaven on earth you have to stay in balance you have to stay in a balanced mindset when you go too far it's like one thinking about the past too much thinking about the future too much the only thing we need to really be focused on is the now moment So when we think about those two extremes, those things that we cannot control, because the only thing that the only thing that matters is the now moment, we're unbalanced. You're doing too much of anything. It's an unbalance and it will bring and cause confusion and chaos. So many things you have to check yourself with everything in life now, especially when you're on this journey. When you're on this spiritual path, you have to check yourself. Anytime you take yourself outside of your elements and to the world, the so-called matrix, you have to check in with yourself and see, am I running on autopilot out here in this world? What what is going on with me? We can do we can have overindulge in everything, especially when we get out of our path 
and with, you know, our friends, with acquaintances, with family members, overindulge in everything and anything. And we take ourselves off our game and out of our spiritual, out of the, some people don't like to call it spiritual path, call it what you will, right? Out of your life's mission, your life's purpose, your goals, whatever you have set for yourself on a daily basis, you take yourself out of it. You take yourself away from it. And you need to come in and check in with yourself on a regular basis, right? So what I was thinking was sometimes we can overindulge in food, we can overindulge in uh, computer, we can overindulge in work, overindulge in family matters, drama, um, anything that is taking yourself out of balance. When you overindulge in those things, you're not bringing yourself back to the so-called zero point. And the zero point, it goes deeper than just some. zero point is somewhat the same as balance. But in the ethers, the zero point is is like bringing yourself back to zero point, back to the nothingness, back to the void. When we're inside of the matrix and we're busy doing our thing, we need to concentrate and bring ourselves back to that alignment, back to alignment, back to aligning ourselves. Equilibrium, right? Half of me is dealing with this. Half of me is dealing with that. And it's a balance. I'm not too far into drama, too far into stimulation, too far into stimuli, stimulating, whatever is stimulating you and feeding your ego or feeding your parasites or feeding your demons. You're not too far into that. And the way we can check ourselves is by, uh, you know, checking in with ourselves. But the way that we figure this stuff out, because I didn't, you know, sometimes you don't realize that you're out of balance. Sometimes you don't realize that you're out of balance until things get too far out of hand. Until things get, you get outside of yourself and then you're like, damn, what happened? How did all this stuff take place? How did I get here? And it only takes a second for you to get out of balance so how you can feel it is has your mood changed are you are you easily aggravated are you losing sleep you know there's so many things where you could figure out if you're out of balance so checking in with yourself will let you know if you're out of balance What's going in your what's going on in your life? Are you overindulging in family issues? Are you overindulging in the workplace environment? Are you overindulging in spirituality? Are you isolating yourself too much? Are you into religion? Heavily into religion too much to the point where you your judgment is off. Balance is important to get to heaven on earth. You must have a balanced mindset, a balanced heart. Come to zero point. Zero point is more spiritual, but for the mundane purpose of this video, we'll just say balance. You must be balanced. So let me see, what did I say? So, oh yeah, you know, you know, I'll write notes down, y'all. So, um, so when you're not organized, when you're off the schedule, when your thoughts are all over the place, when nothing is going your way, those are, those are ways that you can tell that you are out of balance. Things are just not going right. Everything in your life is a mess, including, you know, your bed, your bedroom, your work environment, your car, things that you personally uh, spend time in. It looks chaotic. It just looks a mess. And therefore, in return, because that's out of balance, your social life is out of balance. Your your spiritual life is out of balance. Family matters. Drama comes into your life. All that stuff takes place. So, like I said before, check in with yourself. Get back on schedule. Schedule time for yourself. Get back into your routine. A lot of us that are on this path have a routine. And you need to get back onto your routine, whatever that looks like for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's routine is different. But once you find yourself on a routine, stay on it. Stay with it. As long as it's balanced. You know what I'm saying? We need balance. Sometimes on this journey, I'll talk about it. Isolation is good. 
But when you've gotten to a point where you have done everything you think you need to do, then you can come out of isolation, so to speak. But get back on schedule. Schedule that time for your uh, journaling or time for your sleep schedule and wake up in the morning, do your stretches and get back into your so-called routine. Whatever that routine is, once you find yourself out of balance or out of alignment, check in with yourself and hurry up and get back into alignment. Take yourself out of the family drama. Take yourself out of the workplace drama. If you're overindulging in work, schedule. If you're not getting paid for overtime, cut that out. Overindulging in food or alcohol, you know you need to take anything that you're doing that is uh, overindulgent. Everything is not good for you when you're overindulging in it. Everything requires balance. So just remember that, guys. That's all I wanted to say. Get back to your routine. And that's what I did. I got back to my routine. So I got a new watch. I got a new um, a new refrigerator. Like, I got this big-ass refrigerator for this little house. It is so huge. But I'm thinking, like, the tenants are going to be so excited about it. I got a huge, nice-sized refrigerator. Something that I would have never gotten for myself because I'm not materialistic. But... It was such a good deal. Scratch and dent. Anybody, you want a $2,000 refrigerator for like 500 bucks? Scratch and dent. Um, you want, like, I got a stove, five burner stove. It's beautiful. Nothing's wrong with it. So I just say all that to say this. When you put yourself back on your path and you get back into alignment, balance, things start to correct themselves. Right. So now, you know, I've got hot water. I was never like totally without hot water. I was I lived in Mexico without hot water for a year and a half and I took a bath every day. So you have to just I have a pot of hot water ready, you know, to use on a regular basis. That's what I mean. But the hot water heater is now working and the computer is working right. So everything is balanced. Everything is balanced. OK. Anyway, I hope you guys understood this video. Um and we had a baby girl. I don't know if I got. I told you guys that. I'll put a picture in here. But we had a baby girl. Listen, anybody want... I said thank you for ordering the Parasite Cleanse. And if anybody is interested, so the... I love, love giving readings. Love giving divinations. I love giving advice. So if that's something that you need, please see the information at the bottom in the description box. And don't hesitate to contact me. You can have a reading. Maybe I think it's a two-card pool for just like 15 bucks. So if you're looking for a little bit of guidance, $15 is all you need for a beautiful energy exchange. All right. I love you guys. Stay balanced and stay focused.